Hey guys, a couple of weeks ago I replaced the VVT variable time actuator on a Honda 2.4 liter engine 2012 and after completing the project I had some questions. Why do you have to tighten this down um, with it unlocked and can you tighten it down with it locked? Why did this fail and how does it work? So I'm going to take this apart and kind of give my two cents and how I think it works and why you need to lock it down when it's unlocked. Okay, so one thing I noticed, the spring pressure. There's a spring bracket here. There's not a lot of spring pressure. These screws are a five point uh, kind of like a Torx. So there's a spring here. I'm thinking the spring is not at a good temperature. I mean, I... Okay, so in the morning when you start this, and it's been cold, it sits, this pin is not all the way in. So when you fire up the engine, it sits there and does this until you build up oil pressure. That's what that noise is. Now, how does it work? There's channels here which get oil from the camshaft. There's this one here that you can see the end of the finger that pushes this pin up when you've got oil pressure and then as you start driving it moves forward because you have the oil pushing on this side so as you rev it pushes this this way and it varies the timing on the intake not the exhaust so it either advances or retards I don't know which way and then as you deaccelerate it brings it back now when you turn off or you deaccelerate to a certain RPM, this pin will lock in with the hole. And it's all the way in. And it stays there. And then as you rev, it pushes that pin back and then it allows the timing to change. In the older VTEX, as you hit a certain RPM, it would switch on a valve which would then adjust the timing and you could feel it. So on these newer engines, you don't feel the horse or the VTEC kick in because it's variable as it comes up so that's how that works now why did this fail so I'm thinking as the spring got old it cannot fight the residual oil in the back there so that's why I th answer two now question three why do you have to tighten this with it unlocked. So if you have it unlocked, as you tighten this nut, the pressure is against the sides here. If you have it locked in there, the pressure is now on that pin on the end of the camshaft. That pin to me looks like it's a shear pin. And I wish I had taken a photo of the camshaft, um, but I didn't. So you'll have to take my word for it. And then on the camshaft, as you can see, there are holes to feed all these devices. So, that's how the variable time actuator works. Um, I kind of like it. They did a good thing. And if you notice, there's not a lot of wear on here. Or, I know on the Toyotas, this is aluminium, and you get wear there. You can see a little bit of wear, obviously, when it was rubbing against that. But this is pretty hard steel, so I can see why Honda says it doesn't do any damage. It just doesn't sound nice. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, have a good day.